The Apostle Paul's greatest desire was to get to know our loving Savior, Jesus Christ, much better. Would you like to know Him? Listen to this devotional. That I May Know Him, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Provision for every emergency. How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation, which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord, and was confirmed unto us by them that heard Him? Hebrews 2, verse 3. The divine author of salvation left nothing incomplete in the plan. Every phase of it is perfect. The sin of the whole world was laid upon Jesus, and divinity gave its highest value to the suffering of humanity in Jesus, that the whole world might be pardoned through faith in the substitute. The most guilty need have no fear but that God will pardon. For because of the efficacy of the divine sacrifice, the penalty of the law will be remitted. Through Christ, the sinner may return to allegiance to God. How wonderful is the plan of redemption in its simplicity and fullness. It not only provides for the full pardon of the sinner, but also for the restoration of the transgressor, making a way whereby he may be accepted as the Son of God. Through obedience, he may be the possessor of love and peace and joy. His faith may unite him in his weakness to Christ. The source of divine strength, and through the merits of Christ, he may find the approval of God because Christ has satisfied the demands of the law, and he imputes his righteousness to the penitent, believing soul. What love, what wonderful love was displayed by the Son of God. Christ takes the sinner from the lowest degradation and purifies, refines, and ennobles him. By beholding Jesus as he is, the sinner is transformed and elevated to the very summit of dignity, even to a seat with Christ upon his throne. The plan of redemption provides for every emergency and for every want of the soul. If it were deficient in any way, the sinner might find some excuse to plead for neglect of its terms. But the infinite God had a knowledge of every human necessity and ample provision has been made to supply every need. What then can the sinner say in the great day of judgment as to why he refused to give attention to the most thorough and earnest to the salvation proffered him?